How to flash fast food ROM on any Xiaomi Redmi or Poco phone without using a My Flash tool. Also, I'll show the solution for an error that I have faced while flashing fast food ROM with a My Flash tool. So, this video is going to be very informative. Watch this video without skipping. So, let's get started. I have installed an Evolution X custom ROM on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max which is based on Android 13 and this phone is rooted as well but now I want to install official stable fast food ROM in it so it's been a long time I haven't used MIUI so I want to try that. So the first thing is that you need to enable USB debugging on your device. So for this I'll go to settings then on about phone section there is build number. I'll tap on it several times then developer option will be enabled. Now go back and enter into system setting there you will find developer option tap on it. Inside developer option scroll down until you find USB debugging and make sure this USB debugging is enabled. After enabling USB debugging now reboot phone to bootloader or fast boot mode. You can also reboot to fast boot by long pressing power and volume down button together. So we are in fast boot mode right now. Simply connect your phone with USB data cable to this computer or laptop and then go to the computer. So we are here in computer. Here you need to download these three files. First one is ADB setup. Second one is fast boot ROM zip file. And third one is platform tools zip file. And remember you need to download fastboot ROM that is specifically made for your device model. And in case if you download and try to flash wrong fastboot ROM then you might break your phone. So here first of all right click on this ADV setup and run it as administrator. Then this kind of interface will appear. Here simply type Y button from the keyboard on every command and hit enter and then click on next and click on finish button then adb drivers will be properly installed on your computer now after this extract platform tools zip file with the help of any extractor so now it is extracted now it's time to extract fastboot room file and i will extract it with the help of winrar extractor if you are unable to extract it, then convert its extension and make it a zip file and then try to extract it. And in case if you don't know how to find correct fastboot ROM file for your phone, then go to Google and search your device name along with fastboot ROM at last. Here I have typed Redmi Note 9 Pro Max fastboot ROM. Similarly, you need to search for your device. Then enter into this website and it has the list of all the version of ROM file. Now simply click on the first fastboot ROM link because it's the latest one. Then scroll down and you will find the download link of fastboot ROM file for your phone. And make sure to check type of ROM and it should be fastboot. So in this way you can also download fastboot ROM for your device. Now the extraction process is also completed. I'll open the fastboot ROM extracted folder. And when you reach to images folder section, simply select all the things by pressing Ctrl and A button. And yes, it is necessary to press Ctrl and A button, otherwise it will not work. Now copy all of them and then go back. Get inside platform tools extracted folder and paste everything here like I did. So now I'll show you three windows batch file. This first one is flash all and if you run this file then it will completely flash fast boot room on your device and will not lock the bootloader of your phone. Also it will format your phone. And this second one is flash all except data storage which will flash fast boot room but it will not format data storage. And this third one is flash all lock will flash fast boot room by formatting phone and will also lock the bootloader of your device. I don't want to lock the bootloader and want a clean installation so I'll choose this first one which is flash all. And to flash it simply double click on this flash all batch file. But when I double click on it nothing is happening. I tried many times but nothing happened. 
so how to solve this problem don't worry i'll tell you the solution as well so to solve this simply go back and copy this platform tools folder i'll paste it inside d drive you can also keep it on c drive as well but remember do not paste that platform tools folder inside any other folders so now open that platform folder and double tap on flash all batch file then it will start its flashing and in few minutes this flashing process will be completed so sit back and relax and when it completes its process then your phone will start rebooting and will reboot to system i'll complete this boot setup and as you can see i have finally installed fastboot miui rom on my phone without using a mi flash tool so in this similar way you can also flash fastboot rom on your phone without mi flash tool and can encounter the error as well thank you so much for watching this video and if you like my video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to crack so it also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye